Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. It is never a dull and boring moment in finance and investing. That is why I love doing daily market updates. Now today is going to be a dividend portfolio update. It has been a very, very long time since my last update, guys. And quite honestly, if I go to my playlists, you can see all my dividend investing right here. And uh, this is how I basically got started on YouTube. But anyway, dividends have been a very big part of my life. I've built up a decent portfolio and it provides cash flow literally every single month. And I'm going to show you all that. I think it's fascinating. And I, I became hooked on this a long time ago. But there's all my dividend investing videos. But anyway, I'm going to get into it, guys. Let's do it. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well. Because as you can see right here, I love documenting my journey with investing with obviously cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And of course, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come on this incredible journey. It's been awesome. And also guys, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through, it would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic. When you find ladies and gentlemen do that, right? So make sure you give it a good old thumbs up. Doesn't cost you anything. It's down there. Thank you very much. You guys absolutely rock. Also a little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. I do not want to see anyone get financially hurt. That is why I only invest what I can afford to lose. And yes, we don't like to lose. You can lose money like that in the blink of an eye. Uh, with any kind of investment. So please be careful out there. Do your own research and due diligence. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the formalities are out of the way. Now, I just want to point out, like looking back at these now, these were some of my first videos on YouTube and uh, quite funny. Anyway, uh, I started out with uh, 300 US dollars. Uh, it's around about five or 500 Australian dollars at the time. And I basically started dollar cost averaging. And uh, my portfolio started to grow and snowball. And I'm starting to see it now. And dividend investing is something that is very rewarding, but it does require a significant amount of patience uh, because it's nothing like crypto. It is very slow but it has not stopped for a long time. It's just consistently producing cash flow, which is something that we all need. Anyway, let's go to my broker. And yes, I use the uh, obviously brokerage stake. Uh, again, I've been with stake for a very long time since they launched in Australia. There is a referral link below. Please feel free to use that. Of course, with this stuff, do your own research and due diligence. Now, this is my portfolio, as you can see right here. Again, I am mainly a dividend stock investor. So again, I do hold a few growth stocks, however, mainly dividend investments. And uh, these dividend stocks pay me cash flow every single month, every quarter. And I think a couple of them actually pay once a year. And that's what I like. I like the monthly dividend payments right here. Now, obviously you can see I've got quite a significant amount of holdings. Some ones that I've been dollar cost averaging every single week. Uh, putting in a, an amount of money every single week just to grow this. It has been absolutely painstaking, but it is starting to uh, grow right here. Now, obviously you can see QYLD is the NASDAQ 100 covered call ETF. So this writes covered calls on the NASDAQ, which technically doesn't provide, many of these tech stocks do not provide dividends. However, QYLD writes to covered calls on that, and that's how it basically generates income. Now, you can see it's currently $17.60 at as of Friday. Obviously, the markets are Monday to Friday on uh, Wall Street, and it has a dividend yield of 11.66%. Now, again, back when I started in those earlier videos, I was investing in uh, lower dividend yields, which are much more safer. They are much more safer and obviously more consistent, but it will take you a long time to generate passive income and basically retire on it. Now, QYOD, I mean, QYLD, sorry, is 11.66%. I currently have $5,758 in equity in this. I'm currently up 1.83%. However, I'm not really focused on the return, meaning that the price will go up. That'll be great. I'm more focused on the income that this particular stock generates every single month. 
consistently. Uh, I've got 327 shares of this, which is really nice as well. And you can see a significant amount of people, 6,100 views and 12,390 trades. That is insane. And if we go down to the description right here, just have a quick read. Obviously, it's a covered call ET, uh, ETF and covered uh, call or buy right strategy. In the fund, buys the stocks on the NASDAQ 100 index and writes or sells corresponding call options on the same index which is really nice as well. And the Global X100 uh, Covered Call ETF, QYLD seeks to provide investment results uh, as they correspond generally to the price and yield performance before fees and expenses of the CBOE NASDAQ 100 Buy Right V2 Index. Anyway, enough of that. I'm very bullish on QYLD. He's one of the biggest, so I've got a bit of stuff here. He's one of the bigger, biggest covered call ETFs out there. And it is uh, obviously... Uh, it's not uh, actively managed. It is done automatically as well. So it's very interesting. So QYLD is definitely a bullish one for me. Some other ones, as you can see right here, are CLM. I do apologize. I'm getting emails on a Sunday. But anyway, Cornerstone Strategic Value Fund, $7.76 per share. Uh, again, it's a very interesting fund right here. And we'll go down to the description. But the dividend yield is currently sitting at 19%. Uh, obviously, you can see right here, I'm not focused on the total return. 13.05% in total, I'm down. Not really worried about that. I currently hold 552 shares, $4,289 worth. And again, I'm just going to explain to you what this is. But again, we've got CLM as a closed-end fund. Now, closed-end fund is a very interesting one here. Diversified investment company. The fund investment objective is to seek long-term capital appreciation through investment primarily in equity securities in the United States and non-US states compliance. A company, sorry. The fund invests in various sectors such as information technology, healthcare, consumer discretionary financials, communication services, closed-end fund ind industrials right here, consumer staples like everyday products. Uh, exchange traded funds, ETFs, materials, real estate, and others right here. And the fund invests in this company's uh, capitalization ranges. And the fund invests in common stocks and is also uh, invests in preferred stocks, rights, warrants, and securities convertible into common stocks that are listed on the stock exchanges or traded over the counter. And the fund also invests without limitation right here in other closed in investment companies and ETFs. The fund investment manager is Cornerstone Advisors, LLC. Now, again, this one provides me monthly cash flow, which is really nice as well. And again, I would like to accumulate more of this. And my dividends are starting to snowball now, allowing me to buy more of this stock because it's $7 right now. Now, some other ones, of course, I'm bullish on. Uh, now, these ones are quite risky. There was the whole thing with the collapse of Credit Suisse. Uh, now, if I scroll down to Credit Suisse right here, and these are some of the funds, and these dividends are actually just wild, very volatile. But USOI... Um, is a crude oil covered call ETF. I should say an exchange traded note. Just to clarify, an exchange traded note. Now, basically there is a contract uh, that expires in 2032, I believe. But this writes covered calls on crude oil, which is absolutely insane. Now, again, this is a Credit Suisse fund. Uh, I did speak to Credit Suisse's ETN fund, or I should say ETN desk in New York, uh, to get clarification on what was happening with this merger with UBS. Anyway, everything seems to be fine for the moment. So I'm slowly dollar cost averaging into this because it's absolutely wild. But anyway, $75 a share. The current yield is at 38.44%. Uh, which is ridiculous. I currently hold $1,861 in this US dollars, down 9.58%. However, the dividends basically are so crazy that it basically compensates for this. So again, it provides crazy income, but everyone needs to be aware that uh, you know they're not consistent dividends. They do vary based on what's happening with crude oil. Anyway, USOI is something that I'm accumulating. And again, I'm well and truly prepared to lose that just because, again, it could be delisted. We're not sure just yet. Uh, some other ones that I have been buying, of course, is another Global X Fund, XYLD. And if I scroll right down here, guys, this is another covered call ETF on the S&P 500. Well, I mean, that's pretty big. Uh, it has a price of $40.62, currently 12.90% dividend yield right here. 22 shares, I currently hold $895. It is down 5.83% today. However, again, monthly dividend income. So XYLD, I'm loving. And another one I'm actually getting really bullish on is JEPQ. Now, this is a JP Morgan fund right here. Let me just bring this up. 
Uh, again, NASDAQ equity premium income ETF right here. It's $47.34 USD per share. This, I mean, these JP Morgan funds are different in a sense where they sort of have a balance of capital appreciation. So, I mean, the stock price, let's just have a look in the last month. It is up 6%. Let's go in the last year. It is down 3.58. The last three years, uh, we can see it's down 3.2. But in the last month, it's actually doing quite nicely. Uh, now, that as opposed to like CLM or QYLD, they're mainly income focused, whereas JP Morgan, I should say JEPI and JEPQ uh, obviously focused on that capital growth as well as the income. Now, this has a dividend yield of 12.35%. This does pay out monthly, which is nice. Currently have $232, not much, because uh, this is a new one in my portfolio. So there you go. JEPQ is one that I'm definitely looking to accumulate more of. Uh, and again, some pretty crazy returns, obviously with oil. Uh, as you can see right here, I had ExxonMobil was my biggest return by far. And I'll just show you right here, which is absolutely wild. It's $104 per share. I bought this when the pandemic occurred, obviously, and the crash happened in the market and uh, everyone was at home and uh, you know there was no need for oil. There was no need for fuel because we weren't driving anywhere. So again, I bought ExxonMobil. I was advised otherwise by friends and, and colleagues saying get out of the market, but Luckily, I didn't do that. Now, 3.45% dividend yield. This pays dividends every single quarter, so four times a year, just to make that very clear. It's not a monthly, it's a quarterly. I've had a 103% return on my ExxonMobil stock. Uh, I, my average buy was $51.48 per share, currently holding 108 shares, which is absolutely ridiculous. And again, the dividends I'm receiving for this are absolutely wild. So, Looking forward to seeing what happens in the future with ExxonMobil. I know that everything's going to electric. We'll see what happens. They do uh, involve with themselves uh, in the creation of plastics, which is fascinating. Uh, of course, I've got some other companies. Now, EPD, uh, Enterprise Products Partners, is one that I'm really pissed off about because they have been uh, hit with a 30% tax on dividends, which is absolutely ridiculous. And this is currently delisted off the platform as well, stakes. So, Bear that in mind, I'm still holding it though, earning that income, but it's being taxed 30% as opposed to 15% that us Aussies get taxed because we're not US citizens. Now, obviously I've got my favorites, of, uh, which, you know, SPHD is another monthly dividend payer. Uh, it is an S&P high dividend yield, uh, obviously ETF. So again, you're basically buying uh, the S&P 500, but SPHD specifically invests in the top 50. There you go. So you get 50 stocks that provide high dividend yield. 4.41%. It's very different to the other stocks I just showed you. This is more of a subtle, easygoing uh, ETF. Of course, 4.41% is quite low. That is why I switched to a high dividend yield income generating portfolio. But anyway, 4,889 USD. Currently got 124 shares in this one as well. So that is pretty much it. Um, I would like to show you the dividends coming into the portfolio. Let me just go here. And I currently have... Let me just go here, guys. I do apologize if I just go to dividends on the app and it's just crashed, but let's see what happens. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, let's see if it works. No, it is not working. I don't know why. Uh, no, it's not working. Anyway, it has the tendency to do this. It's very annoying, but... Anyway, guys, I'm going to move on to my dividend tracking app. Now, again, I'm not affiliated with these people at all. However, it does provide a really good insight to my portfolio. So currently, my uh, annual dividend income is $7,294 a year, uh, $607 a month, which is really nice as well. Currently getting, uh, I should say, receiving $19.98 per day, 9.07%, uh, which is quite nice. Now, again, I've got dividends coming up as well. You can see here, HYLD is a monthly payer as well. Uh, excuse me, I know it's running. Uh, two days left on this one. It's not much, but QYLD is paying me $84 in three days at the end of the month. This pays at the end of the month, which is really nice as well. You've got LTC properties as well. CLM is paying me $104 in three days at the end of the month. Uh, now, I just want to point out as well, because the share price is $7, it's going to allow me to buy a lot more of it. So that's really nice as well. Uh, we've got SVOL. Uh, $23. We've got LAND, 15 cents gain as well. RYLD is a global X uh, covered call ETF on the Russell 2000. 
XYLD right there, $9.60. We've got RYLD paying $22. It's just consistent cash flow, as you can see right here. Very, very nice. Now, if I just go to this, obviously, my top dividend payers are CLM, USOI, QYLD, ExxonMobil, SPHD, RYLD, and SVOL. Now, I do put this up every single week in the Patreon, by the way. Join up. That is linked below. You will see the full list uh, every single uh, week when I'm buying. It's really nice. Obviously, you can see monthly, monthly, monthly. Uh, that's quarterly Exxon Mobil. You've got monthly, uh, monthly, monthly right here, which is really nice as well. They're my top dividend payers. Join the Patreon is linked below. And the current value of my portfolio, if this thing wants to load, everything is just being very glitchy at the moment. Just wait a second. Oh gosh. Here we go. All right. Well, now we're cooking. Anyway, 82,000 Australian dollars right now. And this has taken a bit of a beating because, again, I'm down from its all-time high, but that's not to worry. Uh, you can scroll all the way down, ladies and gentlemen, to the bottom right here. And I really love this, but the horizon is really nice. So in 10 years, my portfolio is going to be worth uh, $303,000, which is really nice. And it will generate me $44,000 a year in passive income. That is going to help immensely, just saying. And if we go to the 20-year timeline, my portfolio based on the current you know, values and the dividend yields, it will be worth $3.9 million and it will generate me $1.1 million in passive income every single year. I mean, that would be insane in 20 years. You would not have to work. That would just be a cash flow generating machine. It's better than real estate. It's better than any other investment. And hopefully crypto will get me there a lot sooner so I can invest this $3.9 million and generate $1.1 million a year. That would be beautiful. And uh, that's the true form of passive income. But guys, that is it for today. Uh, I hope you've all enjoyed this stock portfolio update. Make sure you join the Patreon. It is linked below. Follow me on social media and I will put up some updates maybe in the future. We'll see how this goes, all right? But that is it. Thank you very much. Links are below. Join up to the Patreon and I'll speak to everyone soon, all right? Peace out, guys. Bye.